What is up, my Dex and Drakes? Welcome to the Credit Lake. Welcome to day 18 of the Gift of Fan Fiction, a month long event where I read a holiday or winter themed one shot for the month of December. Before we begin, remember they can submit your own one shot in links in the description below. I'm going to stop taking submissions on December 27th, so if you're working on a one shot, you can have it in by then. So, with that, Here's The Nightmare's Chills, a Cinecise fanfic, day 18. Really? 2 a.m.? Why is it 53 degrees in my room? Virgil was shivering, practically vibrating at this point. He couldn't sleep. He was too clattery from the cold. He walked to his closet to find a skeleton onesie, and he put it on over his PJ pants, shorts, and jacket that he was already wearing. He then walked up to the thermostat to realize that he couldn't do anything because he totally forgot the up arrow stopped working yesterday night. This means he would have to wait to get warm. Or maybe not. Virgil then decided to gather his pillows, weighted blanket, and his giraffe plushie and carefully walked down the stairs as not to wake the others. He stepped down each one slowly. He knew he could fall down easily. So he knew it was important. Virgil was then finally able to set the plush bundle on the couch. He was then going to the thermostat to turn up the temperature in the living room. He cranked it up to 72 and let the heat blast as he went to the kitchen to make some very warm hot chocolate. Virgil grabbed his neighbor before Christmas mug and poured milk into it. He thought that water hot chocolate was a bit bland. He liked watching the milk pour too. Things like that didn't look real. It didn't look like it was moving enough to be real, but yet it is. The white and the tone of the milk makes it look magical sometimes, which is crazy because it's just milk, but he couldn't deny it. He then grabbed some hot chocolate powder from the packet in the kitchen cabinet. He didn't like using the tear strip because his shaky hands usually made it go everywhere, but he was okay with using scissors to get a straight snip and then dumping it into the mug. But he caught himself this time. He didn't dump in the powder just yet. He took the time to place the, his mug so the milk could get warm. Virgil originally set the microwave to 2.30. He looked at its spin and thought about how sick he would be after spinning that much. In the heat, too. He was so glad food wasn't alive because he would feel so bad that they had to go through such pure torture. Just spinning and spinning in rapid heat, just melting you from the insides out. Virgil didn't really want to think about it much more, which he didn't have to because the sound of the microwave timer broke out his thoughts. He forgot about what he was thinking beforehand and took the mug out of the microwave, only to slide it right back in when he realized it was still cold. He put it in for another two minutes, knowing that it would probably be overly hot and boiling by then. The microwave beeped again very soon and Virgil poured the chocolate packet into the milk and stirred it. The stirring was always the most frustrating part as it took so long for the powder to stop clicking together and actually doing its job. Once the beverage was made, Virgil wrapped himself in his blanket on the couch, finished off with the cup, and dozed off happily knowing that this Christmas Eve was warm. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to subscribe. I'm so close to 1K and it'd be great if you helped. There is the one shot submission links in the description below, along with the link to my Etsy shop where you could buy beaded things like bracelets, ears, octopi. There's a whole bunch of cool beaded things. There's also links to my social medias down in the description below. Things like my Wattpad, Twitter, Instagram, and a link to the channel Discord, where you could talk to other ducks and drakes. Thank you so much for listening, and much like Virgil trying to stay warm, do your best.